Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and I'm going to show you the game of the year. At least, up to me. This game is for me the best one and it's up to you if you agree with me or no. But at least, let's watch this game till end because you will see incredible game and you will see amazing, interesting and exciting moves. So, let's watch this game. Okay, David Navarra is white and black is Vladimir Fedosev and we are watching Karokan defense. Uh, to say something about Karokan defense, of course Karokan defense is a good opening choice for black. Uh, this opening is absolutely without any weaknesses. At the other side, this opening is a little bit passive. And what's important here, exactly in this position, is pawn on e5, because this pawn is a winning space for white. So, from now, it's a good plan for white to bring all pieces to game and to open position. For black, it's a good plan to exchange some minor pieces and to find more rooms for his pieces. So, that's what's going on and I hope you will enjoy this video. So, if yes, feel free and press like and press follow and made my day. So, thank you very much in advance. Let's come back. Okay, we are still in um, theory and okay, let's speak about this position. White managed to play short castle and just watch his minor pieces. They are in the game and they are open for the middle game. Uh, at the other side, the black species are going to block each other. So you can see that black has a little bit of difficulties where to place his species and he need to be, say, flexible. So okay, he played bishop to e4 and he is making space for knight. This move makes sense. At the other side, this move, it's another tempo, another time. So, okay, that's a Karokan. And how to open this position? You know, if you are better, if you have better pieces, it's important to open position. In open position, this advantage will be bigger and bigger. So, how to open this position? And David Navarra played nice first move. Rook to C1. That's a nice move because, of course, in the air is to play move C4 and why not to have open C file? I think that you agree with me that this is a good move. Okay, black played Rook to C8. C4 and this exchange makes sense for white because at least this position is going to be a little bit more open as we know this is good for white. Okay, uh, good for black is to exchange some minor pieces and of course he is playing this move. So he is taking on d4 and the reason why he is running out of space. So for him it's good to exchange something and he played bishop to d5. So of course Fedosev is a strong, strong grandmaster. He is rated more than 2700. So we know what he is playing. Of course, he know that he is passive and he know that he is running out of space. But okay, that's not the game. That's not uh, end of the world, of course. So David Navarra is playing another nice move. Okay, he played move b3 and this is nice move and I will tell you why. Okay, what's going on if black is taking on c4 and I will show this variation. Uh, maybe you can see that uh, c4 pawn is a little bit weak pawn but now it's not going everything about this pawn but uh, the most important is open b file and because black's king is still in the center black don't have chance to be active too early or say till he will not make safe room for this king so makes sense that white has a target and he will try to attack b7 pawn let's watch this variation because this is nice okay white should take on c6 and say this variation, I like it. So, first attack to b7, another pin, so rook on c6 is pinned, and black has small difficulties. I know this is not end of the world, but at least uh, we should agree that uh, this position is uh, good for white. Okay, I think that space and good rook activity is giving advantage. I am not telling you that this advantage is a winning advantage, but this is not a good position for black. And for this reason, let's come back. After move b3, he played move b5. It makes sense. 
and to ask White what he will play. Okay, is he ready to exchange his bishop or he will come back? Of course, uh, Black is not interesting to exchange more pieces and he is coming back to e2. Why not? And now watch this position. Stop this po uh, position for 5 seconds or stop this video for 10 minutes and ask yourself what you will play. And I'm sure you will miss this move. Okay. For many reasons, uh, this game is absolutely amazing and White is taking on b5. That's a bomb. Boom! Because, you know, just imagine that your opponent is 27 elo rated player and you are going to play something like this. Okay, of course, the main reason why everything is working here is this king on e8 and, you know, you need to be brave chess player or you need to see too many moves ahead. But this move is great and great. So, okay, why not to take this um, why not to take this knight? Okay, what's going on if uh, black is taking this queen? This is a really important question because, you know, you are going to maybe lose a uh, piece. So it makes sense to exchange this queen. But here, for example, is this variation. So check and nearly checkmate. So at least you can see that um, with exchange queens, this variation is uh, winning. So that's cool that uh, we saw this variation and black should avoid this queen exchange. That's a good advantage for white because at least he know that his attack will follow. So black took and of course check and okay, what to play here? You know, now uh, say white is peace down. And I will tell you that this is another bomb. Boom. White is peace and rook down or rook down sorry so this is great and you know this is something what chess fans love to see so okay what to play i will show variation if uh, black is taken by a rook this is another great variation you know this move is a winning you know you should not believe that this move is working but it's working and as I think this is a great game. So, okay, say black is going to c8, is losing immediately, too many pins, there is nothing to play, I hope you agree. So let's come back and, for example, if uh, black is taking, white is taking, and say white is taking here, and rook to c1, and then at the end of this variation you can count um, uh, the pawns, and you will agree with me that white is winning here. There was only variation and that's not everything. So let's come back and you will see the story of this game. So, okay, white took by a knight. Okay, the pin is makes two cents and maybe not bad is to go queen to d7, but this is another pin and you know, you need to be um, chess, world chess champion to play this move. Maybe this was so stronger, but okay, black played, maybe not bad, queen to d5. Of course, this queen is in the center and this queen is going to attack this piece. So, makes sense. a4. And of course, if we are speaking, speaking about compensation, let's say that uh, at this pawn should be one day a strong pawn and maybe the biggest uh, white chance for victory. Okay, f5, not bad move, and uh, black's queen is under attack. What to play? Okay, another variation. What's going on? If black is taking on e5, of course, check on c6, and uh, black should run out of these threats. Uh, I found it move bishop to b6. And even this variation looks nice to me. So, I think that white is still better. Yes, of course, uh, maybe blacks got some chances, but if I have choice, I will, play, I will play this position for white. I hope you agree with me. And let's come back. Okay, uh, the main moves, what was happened played here was um, another chance or try for exchange the queens. Uh, makes sense that uh, black know that up to material, he's absolutely winning, so you need to be careful and you know, no queens, no mates. So, okay, what to play? Bishop to d3, and that's another nice move. Okay, I think that not bad at all was rook to c1, and this exchange 
a5. Uh, I think that maybe here white should found another compensation and maybe he's still better. But okay, say that uh, this move, what was played here, is a stronger. Okay, white to exchange queens if we are that we are trying to attack. Yes, make uh, makes sense. Okay, what's going on if uh, black is taking on e5? That's another pawn. Why we are not worried to lose too many pawns? But you know, don't count to pawns till black's king will not be in the safe square. Okay, here it should be bishop to a6 and bishop to b6, and I think this is the main reason uh, why black has uh, problems. So, okay, uh, let's go back. So, what's happened? Black played queen to b4 and nearly the same variation happened, bishop to b5. Looks like uh, this pin is a danger and this queen, of course, it's uh, not in the great square and watch this king. He's still worried. He's still worried what's going on because this uh, king is not still in the best position. Okay, what's going on? Bishop to e7 happened, but okay, I'll show another variation. Let's play queen to e4 because it's interesting. I think that rook to c1 makes sense and uh, bishop to b6 and a5. Maybe, maybe this is a winning position for white because a6, a7, a8 plus this pin, it's uh, giving white maybe more than enough compensation. Uh, another interesting uh, variation here, I hope you won't, don't mind to see another variation, was for example to play... Uh, okay, we saw this variation and I think for example here g5. Okay, I will show more. a6, a4, uh, a7. Took, check, take, take. And here, of course, that's a nice variation where white is winning. So we saw we saw that uh, variations are working very well for white, and um, black played bishop to e7. Okay, bishop to b6 makes sense. Uh, maybe stronger as as I will show another variation. Hope you don't mind. It's to play to take on c6 and check here and take here. So that's another option where I think that everything's fine. Okay, black is still under big pressure, but is still alive. Maybe this position is still winning for white, but you never know. So let's come back because uh, we are going to watch maybe the best game of the year. And bishop to b6 is a nice move. Okay, root to c8 and check here and a5. So that's a, that's a story of this pawn because uh, this pawn is a strong pawn and of course any moves forward is uh, making, making him even stronger. So g5 and now of course um, the plan here is for example not to be here uh, under checkmate. So what do you think white will play here? And that's a great uh, white played move to f1. You know, just imagine that in such a hard position, say messy position, White has a time to play this move. And of course, this move is the best move in this position. You know, all threats are there. All threats, all attacks are there. But last hope for Black to deliver a checkmate, it's gone. Never ever there will be checkmate. Okay, maybe. You think that maybe h3 is okay, but here is move h5 and g4 and say hope for black's compensation. So for this reason, uh, this is not good. And of course, if um, white is playing rook to d4, that's his main plan. Here you can see the checkmate. So that's the reason why for many reasons, maybe this move was the best move in this position and maybe the best move in this game. So we saw lots of great moves. But this one is absolutely sweet. So, okay, uh, queen to f4, g3, this pawn is gone, and queen to c4. At least, 
there is another thread and this thread is still in the air and another thread of course is this king uh, don't believe that this king is in safe square he is not so okay bishop to c5 happened and rook to e1 big mistake is to take this bishop because black will take this bishop and you know um, i'm not telling that black is okay but at least black has got the first chance in the game and it's a good idea to not give any chance to your opponent and you need to be careful and play the best moves from the first one to the last one so we are nearly at the end so happened okay uh, rook to e1 and now another bomb boom rook took on e6 and that's great that's great and of course uh, okay you can see whatever you want up to me this is a great game and should be the game of the year so okay of course to take this rook is a uh, is losing immediately so that's what's going on so black played queen to d4 but uh, the last move is here check and the black resign why okay i will show this variation so if black is taking here of course here is a check and that's game over and that was a great game of david navarra and of course big respect to both players it was a chess show and that's exactly what chess fans are looking for so up to me great game and i hope you enjoyed this video as you enjoyed my commentary thank you very much for every likes say thank you very much for every follows new followers and thank you very much for your time i wish you a good day and i hope i'll see you soon in our another youtube chess video take care see you soon thank you and bye bye